tonight for students at one of North Carolina's most beautiful campuses, Appalachian State University in Boone. Many of them have been forced to live in hotels. You may recall, we reported earlier this week, the Cottages of Boone, the largest planned off-campus housing complex in that city, was scheduled to open to students last week. But this rainy summer caused several delays. Now, the company did put a lot of students in hotels, but as Chad Tucker reports, many are having to move yet again. Adding to the stress of students forced to live in hotels after their off-campus housing complex wasn't ready. It's very frustrating because like, well, this is our third day of classes and we need to be doing homework and getting ready for everything. And we have to pack up all of our stuff in our hotel room that we've tried to make a home for right now and move to another hotel room and possibly have to move back. Jennifer Daniels and her roommate signed a lease last September to move into the Cottage of Boone. A rainy, wet summer caused numerous construction delays and for those students, whose apartment isn't finished, the company put them up in hotels. We don't even have a place to sit down and do our homework right now. So it's just hard bouncing from one room to another. And just when they got settled, they were like, since the race is coming to Bristol, Tennessee, you have to move because someone's booked your room for Saturday night. Yep, they have to pack their bags again, moving across the street to the Holiday Inn for now. They, they haven't told us anything. You don't know where you're going to live after this, either. Yes. Another concern has been safety for the students, especially those students who live at the Fairfield Inn and have to cross Highway 321 to this side to catch the bus to go to campus. Yet, they have to cross five lanes of traffic. Students were supposed to move in on August 15th, but weather delays and failed early inspections forced some students to move in late on Sunday. The rest locked in leases forced to hotels. Feel lucky getting out of the lease. Sean West of Clemens was one of the lucky ones. The company released him from his lease. When I actually signed like the termination contract, as I was leaving, I opened up the door, and the handle just came right off the door before I could even get out. Releasing students from their leases, a move many feel, is the right thing to do. That probably would have solved a lot of our problems. I mean, we've been looking for places, and places are filling up fast, you know, so, and we're really late in the game, so it would have been nice if we could have been released. In Boone, Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News. Students living in hotels are still paying rent, and several have been told different times as to when their apartments will be complete. The complex, owned by Capstone College Communities, is giving students living in the hotels a $15 daily allowance. Well, what a